second kings chapter 3 okay let me start from verse 5 just for context it says but it happened when ahab died that the king of moab rebelled against the king of israel so king jehoram went out of samaria at that time and mustered all israel then he went and sent to king jehoshaphat king of judah saying the king of moab had, has rebelled against me will you go with me to fight against moab and he said i will go up i am as you are my people as your people my as your horses and let me just pause there briefly just to highlight the point. he says first of all i am as you are my people as your people my horses as your horses in other words even though they were now you know separate kingdoms as it were but um this man was revealing something that is important you know in our lives today that as brethren we have to see one another as one and so we have to also learn to bear one another's burdens and so we have to learn to make prayers that go beyond us to be able to partner with others in that which they are going through and as it were offer helping hands it says bear ye one another's burden in love so that we don't get to the place where we begin to think oh because it's not happening to me oh i'm good i'm fine and then your brother or your sister is going through something and you cannot offer some comfort you cannot offer some prayer you cannot make the sacrifice of time to go before the lord in the place of prayer for that person jehoshaphat is teaching us something that we have to learn he says i am as you are my people as your people my horses as your horses he says which way shall we go up and he said by by way of the wilderness of edom so the king of israel went with the king of judah and the king of edom and, and they marched on that round about route seven days and there was no water for the army nor for the animals that followed them and the king of israel said alas for the lord has called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of moab imagine when somebody who has called you <laughs> has given up you know he was the one that mustered these three kings these two kings rather him making them three now and now he's the one that is shouting oh the lord has gathered us to destroy us everybody should just scatter them but thank God that there was a man right there who knew the ways of God. Thank God that there was a man, Jehoshaphat, who knew the ways of God. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there no prophet of the Lord here that we may inquire of the Lord by him? So is there no way that we can have some connection with the Lord? Is there no way that we can make connection with the Lord? And concerning the situations of your life, is there no way that you can make connection with the Lord? Is there no way, is there no prophet that can connect us? And now, this is not about an external prophet. We are the first prophets over our lives. Is there no way that we can make connection with the Lord? But that's not actually where I'm going to, but it's very fundamental. It says, is there no prophet so that we can receive counsel from the Lord? And so for the things that we are going through in life, for the things, for the situations of our lives, is there no how we can keep it right before the Lord day and night? Is there no how that we can lift it up before the Lord and stay on it until we see the change thereof? He says, is there no prophet? Is there no prophet of the Lord here that we may inquire of the Lord by him? So one of the servants of the king of Israel answered and said, Elisha, the son of Shaphat, is here who poured water on the hands of Elijah. And Jehoshaphat said, the word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Jeho Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. But now bring me a musician or a minstrel. Then it happened when the musician played, and it's important the sound you listen to, the music you listen to. Then it happened when the musician played that the hand of the Lord came upon him, and he said, Thus says the Lord, Make this valley full of ditches. For thus says the Lord, You shall not see the wind nor shall you see rain yet that valley shall be filled with water so that you your cattle and your animals may drink and this is a simple matter in the sight of the lord <laughs> so it means that the condition that you are killing yourself for 
that you are shouting that this one will destroy us, this one will kill me, this one will, is the end of my life. He said it is, a, it is a simple matter before the Lord. Ah, it is a simple matter before the Lord. It means that it will not take God anything. It will not, it will not make him fidget on the throne. It is a simple matter before the Lord. And so that thing that you have been bothered about, that thing that you have been, that have been aching your heart, know that it is a simple matter before the Lord. It is a simple matter before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He said, He also, He will also deliver the Moabites into your hand. Also, you shall attack every fortified city and every church city, and shall cut down every good tree, and stop up every spring of water, and ring, blah, 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 blah. Now it happened in the morning, when the grain offering was offered, that suddenly, Water came by way of Edom, and the land was filled with water. And so the point of prayer this morning is simple. That when you look into your life, because when the scripture says you shall neither see the rain, nor the wind, but the valley shall be filled with water. In other words, you, will, you may look around you, and it does not look as though anything will happen. That's the point I'm going to. You may look at the situations of your life and you are wondering, well, how will this thing happen? He says, stop looking at the situations of your life. Stop looking at the circumstances. So he says, you may look around because for the rain, for water to come, you will look into the atmosphere, you will look into the clouds and then there will be the wind, there will be the change of the clouds and then you know, oh, the rain is coming. So, but, but Elisha was saying, you will not see the wind, you will not see the, the, the rain, but the valley shall be filled with water so it's not about your present circumstance so when you look into your present circumstance it will discourage you he's saying look beyond them look beyond your present circumstance don't judge god's doings don't judge the capability of god on the basis of your present condition or circumstance he says you will not see the rain you will not see the wind but surely this valley will be filled with water. This particular valley, as you dig the trenches, the ditches in obedience, the ditches will be filled with water so that you can drink. And so I came to announce to you, look beyond your present circumstance. Keep your gaze upon that which the Lord has said he will do. And so you are going to be prophesying over your life. I may not see the rain. I may not see the, the clouds. I may not see the, uh, what's it called? I mean, physical things, no, not spiritually. Of course, you have to see it spiritually. But physically, it may not look as though water will come. But I declare it will come. It says, this one is a simple matter. So what you think is difficult? <laughs> what is the most difficult thing in your life that you are looking at? He said, it, says, it is a simple matter before the Lord. And I want you to do something right now. Just name those situations and say, this one is a simple matter before the Lord. In one or two minutes, name the situations that have been troubling you. As you name one, say, this one is a simple matter before the Lord. This one, name another one, is a simple matter before the Lord. And keep saying it until your spirit comes into that knowledge, into that consciousness that this one is a simple matter before the Lord. This one is a simple matter before the Lord. This is a simple matter. I hope that you have started. It's a simple matter before the Lord. This one is a simple matter before the Lord. This one is a simple matter before the Lord. This one is a simple matter before the Lord. This one is a simple matter before the Lord. This is a simple matter before the Lord. In the name of Jesus, this is a simple matter before the Lord. This one is a simple matter before the Lord. This particular one now is a simple matter before the Lord. This other one, it is a simple matter before the Lord. It is a simple matter before the Lord. It will not cause the Lord a night of sleep. No, it is a simple matter before the Lord. This other one, that other one, it is a simple matter before the Lord. It is a simple matter before the Lord. Oh, this other one, it is a simple matter before the Lord. That financial 
special challenge. It is a simple matter before the Lord. Oh, the other one is a simple matter before the Lord. Oh, Zana Ikai Kombaratamnya. It is a simple matter before the Lord. Oh, those overwhelming storm. It is a simple matter before the Lord. Those troubles. It is a simple matter before the Lord. Those challenges. It is a simple matter before the Lord. Aila Bante Subeneta. Kamante Venora Fanatamnya. Can you begin to prophesy over them right now? In the name of Jesus. I may not see the clouds. I may not see the rain. I may not see the wind. But my life will be filled with the goodness of the Lord. Oh, it may not look like it, like it physically. Jekamba Barasi Benetamnia. Zesus de Fanatamnia. But that I take my eyes away from the physical things. And I look upon the Lord. Who is the doer? Salabinetamni. Resu Benetakabama. Zono Rafasta Benetamni. Lesune Kababamni. Lunze de Kuvenetamna. La Sasa no Manatamni. Resu Benetakabamni. Lunza Naka. Mamana Sumbrete de Benetamnia. Zeteka Benetamnia. Mana Sulte Fanatamnia. It does not matter what my physical circumstances say. Jababa Babamne. Lunze Fanatamnia. Zegada Beluvana. The hand of the Lord will accomplish it. The hand of the Lord will do it. Is a room by Amdeluha, a Sura Gabetemna, Lunze Gada Novenetamia, Resus de Tenada, Lumbilu Kayanda, La Sabadamia, La Sabadamia, La Sabadamia, Azuvenetamia. In the name of Jesus, I speak into my life. I hope you are praying for your steward. Jacobabumna, the Suna Kabamia, that the rain will come, the water will come. Jacobabamna Sovenetamia. Resune Kabamia. I may not see the wind, I may not see the rain, but the water will come. Jababu, Esune Tamia. It may not look like it now physically. But the Lord will cause it to happen. Shaka, he says suddenly, he says suddenly, he says suddenly, your valley shall be filled with water. Suddenly, Shabababamia, suddenly, Resus de Fanatamia, Elesumbene Kababamia, Lesova da Cabelatamia, Resovento Manaka, Memenon Savana Cabelatamia, Zesune Kobabamia, suddenly, your valley, you, Saya, Memomon Venetamia, Lums. The ditches that you have dug will be filled with water. Suddenly, your own duty is to dig the trenches, is to dig the ditches. Oh, suddenly, your business will be filled with water. Oh, the sagabambo telatamia, the sune venetamia. Suddenly, your obedience uh, would attract the water. Your own duty is to obey and dig the trenches uh, and dig the ditches uh, and do that which God uh, has told you to do. Uh, that is your own part of the uh, of the bargain. Dig the trenches. Uh, but you, oh my God. Oh, surrender. Suddenly, that which is in your hands uh, will blossom. Oh, surrender. the tama. Suddenly, that which seems dead in your hands will jump up again. Resabamni, Resovenetamnia, It may not look like it. It may not. I Sevana, but this one is this a simple matter before the Lord. Resalia Cabelatamia, Zebebe Cabelatamni, Liso Varande Cababamia, O Shania, Mamande Valatamia, prophesy over your life. Zesefeno Manayaka, Memeno Savalatamia, Zebene Cabalatamia. My circumstances may be saying that you will not make it. Oh Shatamia, you Fenetamia, but it is not a bad. The present circumstance, my friend. Oh, Janamaya, Rose Venemania, Uke Bebebebemni, Luvenetena Sosa Fanaya, Robebebebemna, Lon Savana Revenetania, Jeke Bebelon Venosara, Revedon Brata Savina Tania, and Don Palata, Egon Bello Savadani, Lon Sananandia, Mamani Soveneta Cabinetania, Lerzos of Venetanamia, Jeke Bebebebemna, Lon. 
Sanaita Rabebebebendo Le Sata Bebetenda La Sovendo Baraquatia Lo Sanatania Mete Dumbre de Ketania Lansanatania 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 Le Sanica Esovanatia Mama 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 Severam de Letaya Zotapania Eshanata Belore Fasim Ratai Oh Jesus Oh Jesus Your own duty is to obey Obey the Lord He says dig the trenches dig the ditches Yo, our own duty is to just live in obedience. This is where the Lord is leading me. What is calling me to do? Engage. 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 Obedience is the only requirement here. The Lord says move, you move. The Lord says do this one, you do. Start this one, you start. You may not look like it. You may not see the wind. You may not see the rain, but that which you have entered in by obedience will blossom. And maybe you are here and you are like, oh God, it, I, it was by my hand that this situation got this way. It was by my hand. It was by my own making. It was by my disobedience. It was by this one, by that one. That's, you know, these things are happening in my life. God says, relax. And maybe you are wondering, this is by my hand. Can anything be done? Do I qualify? God says, relax, I am bigger than that. The, the, the condition that they found themselves were caused by themselves. Because they did not inquire of the Lord. You know, when the, when the scripture says, in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path. Recently, I began to understand the reason. It is because God cannot do what he has not been invited into. He says that he is able to keep that which has been committed into his hands. Do you see that? So God is not, he is not obligated to keep whatever you have not committed into his hands. So when you acknowledge him in all your ways, then he will step in and direct your path. So these men did not acknowledge the Lord and they just went like that. So the Lord was not obligated to respond to them. But even though they had made that mistake, when they realized and they ran back to God, the character of God is that he cannot leave anyone that is broken and contrite. He cannot leave anyone in his mess once the person turns to him. That's the character of God. So if you have heard anything about God that says that uh, maybe you have done this one so it, it cannot be repaired. No, that is not God. That's not God. That's not God. They don't know God. And so I am saying that whatever led to whatever, God can still redeem. God can still redeem. He can still redeem. And so look beyond the situations. Keep your gaze upon the Lord. For you will neither see the rain, you will not see the wind, but your life will be filled with the goodness of the Lord. Can you declare it one more time over your life? As the prophet over your life. Because it was by this prophetic word that the things began to align. So as soon as Elisha released these prophetic words, things began to order themselves to make sure that it happens. You see, it's a, it's a simple matter. I will, I will just cause something to happen somewhere and then you just wake up and you find water. <laughs> oh, and God will say, maybe you have been looking in one direction. You are like, oh, the rain is going to come. The, how I will get water is by the clouds gathering and then the rain falling from above. He's saying that a thousand, a billion more ways I can reach out to you. Uh huh. And so maybe you've been focused on a particular direction. Oh, this is where God will follow and come into my life. He's saying, calm down. There are a lot of other ways I can reach you. And so the things you do not expect, I declare over you in the name of Jesus, by the hand of the Lord. Let them come into your life in the name of Jesus. 
the things that you do not expect, the direction that you have not even expected that God will enter into your life, I declare it opens up in the name of Jesus. Behold, he comes riding on the clouds. In the name of Jesus, the Lord himself, yeah, he rides into your life. In the name of Jesus, he rides into your life. In the name of Jesus, he rides into your life. In the name of Jesus. I see Varata Nevanama Kabebe Veneta Zenemo Shana Fizo Farati Feo Veneta. Let every hold of darkness crumble in your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jetana, I command the waters to flow into your life. I command that the goodness of the Lord flows into your life. In the name of Jesus, beyond what you think is tenable in your life, I declare that the word and the promise of the Lord will find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus, beyond what your circumstances and situations and present condition is saying is possible in your life i declare much more than that i declare the promise of god the prophetic word of god is made manifest in your life whether your present conditions agree with it or not i declare that by the hand of the spirit it is made manifest let the let the gates of your life be opened up in the name of jesus let the gates of your life be opened up let the gates of your life be opened up in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shana Kababa Lifa Sosef Retene Kababa Latia. Zenevando Shana Kabali Professor Fretena Kai. That demonic force that has been manning the gates and has, that has closed up those gates in the name of Jesus preventing access to those that should bless you I declare in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus let the angels of the living God take charge over the gates of your life in the name of Jesus I declare that the veil is cast off from your face the veil that has covered you is torn in the name of Jesus. You are unveiled in the name of Jesus. People begin to see you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jenakata for Livra Hata Valisebra and Abada Beletai. Jemanaka, let the rain of God's favor fall upon your life in the name of Jesus. Abba Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and Amen.